Okay, hello everyone. Okay, student, you can respond for me. You can see me or not. Okay, because the line today, I think a little bit problem lah for my house area. Okay, student. Okay, you can see my live or not? Okay, we just wait a while for the student to respond me. Okay, eh? Okay, uh, Yuru answer me already. They can see me, eh? Can listen or not? Okay, the others, how many is on the line now? Okay, we check the student answer me. I think just got Yiru answer me only. The others can listen or not? Okay, Yiru can answer me. You can listen me or not? Okay, we just wait a while uh, for the student to answer me. Can listen or not? Okay, can see. But can listen. Okay, we're still waiting. Hello. Okay, then I just go through that like, because the student they never answer me can listen or not. Okay, Yuru, can you answer me? You can listen me or not? I cannot see the chatting here. You can type here. Okay. Okay, maybe the line problem lah. They reply me late or what? Okay, we just continue to see. Uh, what's the lesson for today lah? The today lesson is a Bernoulli principle. Okay, Bernoulli principle. Okay, then I go a while. I go and see is it can listen or not. Okay, wait me a while. Lah. Give me some time. I want to find out is it uh, the student can listen me or not. Okay, can. Uh, Sika Jing answer me. Lee Mei Ling also answer me. Eh? So I continue. Lah, if can, because the line got problem already. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we go through. Okay, now I go to slideshow. Okay, today topic, that's uh, 2.6, the last one from the chapter 2. That's uh, Bernoulli principle. Okay, let's see the Bernoulli principle. Okay, this one, we don't have any uh, formula. We only got one of the concept. Okay, the concept, that means you need to go through. You go and see uh, the paper. This one is a one of the video clip. You can see what happened for the uh, paper. Now the person, they go to blow. Okay, they want to blow above the paper. They blow above the paper and you do some observations. Okay, we start. Uh, okay, what you can see from here. Okay, so from here we find it. When they just blow, okay, the paper is go down. Okay, the upper part is go down. Okay, upper part go down actually is what's the meaning. Okay, why the situation like this? Okay, we go to replay again. Okay, I go to replay again. Eh? Uh, sorry. Okay, you see, when I just blow. Okay, when I just blow, you'll find the upper part. The paper will go downwards. Okay, so from here, they got one of the questions. Why? 
why the situation become like this okay so from here we go through okay now okay this is from your textbook you can see from your textbook they got this one diagram when he just blew the heart okay below the paper okay the paper was pressed grows to the surface of the table so you can see when it just blow from here okay that means you find it the upper part they will go down okay they will go down so we need to go and see what's the observation uh, this one is an observation go down then we need to explain why the situation become like this okay now this one is a one of the question so we're going to see uh okay so from here we continue doing see here okay this one from your activity 2.13 from your textbook so from here they just mentioned just now the situation high velocity of fluid they will create the region of low pressure so this is a one of the statement for this uh, today the topic Bernoulli principle high velocity of the fluid so we don't care it's a water or there's a, a a when they just flow very fast so they will create the region become very low pressure so example you see this one a the first situation we test by using paper okay hold a piece of a4 paper with the both hand okay both hand we hold it after that you go to blow okay blow at the top surface of the paper okay when it just blow that means you find it what happened okay surface sure the a move very fast because you blow okay so that means you create upper form okay upper surface is a low pressure is it so this one, if we follow the Bernoulli principle for this sentence, lah. So we continue. Okay, this one also same. Just now the situation, high velocity create low pressure. Is it? Now we go to discussion. We compare the velocity of the A above and below the paper. Okay, we just do the comparison. Okay, above and below the velocity sure above is a high speed because you go to blow okay below is a low speed okay so from here we're going to see the answer for first discussion velocity of the a above is higher okay it's higher okay so from here um i find the student like no don't have any okay i got to refresh first uh, because i cannot see anything here okay sorry for a while the student, I go and see my chat room again. Eh? I'm going to find the student to answer me. Okay, so I just find here. Okay, this one is a one of the citations. So we answered the first one already. The first one is uh, the blow. Okay, above you find it that will fast to move, so the speed is higher. So you need to describe the movement of the paper. So you can see the arrow lah. Okay, the arrow they got uh, the pressure is low. Uh, here is higher, upper form is lower. So now you know the situation when the difference of the pressure, they will create one of the forces. So this one forces we call it as a resultant force. So this one resultant force they will push. Okay push from where from the high pressure to low pressure so finally you can find it the paper will lift up okay this one actually is one simple activity you can do in your house one you just take one of the paper then you blow harder eh? paper one piece enough don't take more more cannot lift one because too heavy already so you take one pieces then you hold at the end after that you go to blow harder so you find the paper will lift up okay so from here the answer is move upwards okay the paper will move upwards okay then we go to the next part okay now it's another situation we test by using balloon okay using the balloon so balloon you hang two uh, inflatable balloon that's a near to each other two you put closer okay now you can see the center they're using the straw we're going to blow the A into the space between the ball. So that means from this one diagram, when I just blow between the ball, you find it center area become fast. 
the A move very fast. Okay, A move very fast means high velocity. Velocity become high means this part, the uh, pressure will become low. Okay, when the pressure just become low, understood outside we got atmospheric pressure, they will sure bigger than the center pressure. So automatic different of the pressure produce the forces. The forces go away, they will press, okay? Press the two balloon together, okay? They will go to the center from the high pressure to the low pressure. So from here, we're going to see some discussion for these activities. Okay, so the discussion will ask you, compare the velocity of the air between the two balloon with the velocity of the air around them. So we find it the between one, the A must move very fast. Okay, so surrounded, the A becomes slow already. So from here, the answer is velocity of the A between the ball is higher. Okay, between the ball is higher. So from here, uh, create, uh, describe the movement of the two ball. So the two ball must be go closer lah, because center, the pressure become low. Okay, so the answer is move close to the each other. Okay, so this one is just talking of one of the concept. High speed create low pressure. Uh, then we understood like create low pressure. Then the surrounded atmospheric pressure should be higher. Okay, so you find it different of the pressure. Because of different of the pressure, then we produce resultant force. Okay, so we continue. Okay, this one is a third activity they show using the venturi tube. Okay, this one is a venturi tube. Huh? So this one is a different with the other tube because you see the center. Center, the uh, the tube becomes thinner one. That means the diameter is not constant. Okay, you can see the third one, they continue to become the original tube size. Okay, now the situation is a clip. Okay, clip, that mean uh, the water, they flow, that means they never go to other way. They keep, okay, so from here, you can find the level should be the same. Lah. Okay, now we're going to start this one, activity, what they want to do. Okay, turn on the water tap. Okay, water tap, you turn on and let the water to flow into the ventilator tube until the water level in the vertical tube A, B, C are half of the height of the tube. Okay, now open the clip. To around the water, okay, allow the water to flow out into the sink. Okay, adjust the water tap and the clip to control the water flow until the water level in the vertical tube are stable. So that means when starting, there are flow different height. Okay, after that, you need to clip it. Okay, the clip, that means you can open and close until you can adjust until the level should be the same. Okay, so this one is a one of the activity, the uh, procedure, what you want to do. Okay, now we're going to see the question. Okay, from here you can see what is the relationship between the height of the water column in the three tube with the water pressure. Okay, let's see this one diagram. Okay, when the A or the water start to flow. Okay, so one thing you need to know, the water when starting to flow, they must from the high to low. Pressure flow from high to low pressure. Okay, this one is an understood one. Okay, I don't care your A or water, you start to flow. The starting part sure is a high pressure. So until the end should be low pressure. Lah. Okay, they're not too high pressure already at the bottom. Okay, from here, you can see because of the different size. Okay, if O is the same size, it's okay. A sure is high pressure. B is a second. C is the last one. Ah, that one is the same size. Okay, now the problem is center. Can you see the center become thinner? When they become thinner, you tell me all the water they want to force, force to go to the narrow part. So the water will flow how? Very fast because they want to rush. Is it? Just like the water tap. Okay, water tap, you go to close. You close the water tap halfway. So what do you think about the water? The water all spray out, is it? Uh, that one is high speed. So from here, we find it the B. Location at the B, now the water flow is very high speed. Okay, when they become very high speed, follow Bernoulli principle. High velocity, what you create? You create low pressure. So that means part B, the pressure of the water is the lowest compared to A and also the C. 
So we go to label first lah. We go to mark the water level. This one should be the lowest. Okay, now we compare A to C. A, the C, the diameter should be the same. So we follow the original concept. The pressure flow from high to low. So A should be highest. Then the C is a moderate, the second one. And the last one should be the B. Okay, so we go to answer the question. Water pressure increase. Height of water column increase. So this one is a relationship between the height and also the water pressure. So you from here, you find the water pressure is uh, increases when the height of the water column increase. So that means the A should be the high pressure lah, because the water column is the highest. Okay, then we continue. Okay, now compare the height of the water column to A, B and also the C. Okay, A, the highest. C is the second one. Then the B is the lowest. Okay, now we just go to answer. Lah. The water column means A more than C and more than B. Okay, then this one activity conclusion actually is related to what? We just related with the two physical quantity. First, velocity. Number two is what? Pressure. Finally, what they produce? Forces. Okay, for these two, they got forces, la, but this one we don't have, we cannot talk about the forces la, because this one is a water. These two is an A. Okay, so from here, the flow of the A at a high velocity that produce the region of pressure is a low. Okay, this one is a one of the centers today I want to show you. Okay, so this one center is related to today's topic. There's a Bernoulli principle. Okay, so the pressure difference. Because of the pressure is a difference, then they produce a force. So different force, we call it resultant force. That act from the region of the higher pressure towards to the lower pressure. Okay. Then we go through to the this one explanation. Okay. The pressure will flow from high to low. Okay. From the high to the low. So therefore, the pressure Px is more than the P. Z. Okay, I think this one sentence is okay. You understand the pressure must start, starting part must be high pressure. The ending part sure is the lowest pressure. Okay, then we continue. Okay, the height of the water coulomb. Water coulomb is represent the pressure. HA, okay, this one is the first one. This one should be the, uh, we compare A and C first, uh, the B later because B is a different. Okay, A, pressure sure is higher than the C. So the water column level also same. A should be highest level, then C is a lowest compared to the A. Okay, then we continue. Okay, the velocity of the water is depends on the cross-sectional area of the tube. Okay, now the velocity, you want to go fast and go slow, depend the tube diameter. Okay, now we're going to see the part B. Okay, cross-sectional area just drop. So you find the velocity of the water is very, very high. Okay, just like the center one. Okay, the tube becomes narrow. So the water, when it just go, they are very, very fast. Okay, very, very fast, what happened? So they will create lowest pressure here. Okay, lowest pressure means the water not enough pressure. They cannot pump higher. So that's why they are just lowest. So from here, we go to explain. The, the flow of the water at high velocity at the Y. Y is a high velocity. So that's why they produce a region is a low pressure. Okay, the pressure is the lowest at the part Y. So that's why the water cannot go up more. Okay, they just go up a little bit. Okay, so these things, cross-section area drop. So you remember the velocity will become increasing. Okay, after that, you're related with the Bernoulli principle. Okay, so from here, we go to answer another situation. Can you see this one tube is not, not same like the, just now the pattern? Okay, we just reverse. Just now is water flow in. Now is A. The A move in. Okay. Okay. We go to explain this one diagram first. Huh? Okay. The A start to move here from the X. Then go until Z. 
So we understood the pressure of the AX is more than the Z because the pressure flow from high to low. Okay, how about the Y? Okay, why the tube becomes smaller? Okay, the tube becomes smaller, that means the A want to pass through, sure it's very high speed one. Okay, so that means Y is a high speed and also create lowest pressure. Agree, yeah? So from here, we conclude about the pressure first. X is the highest pressure. Z is the second one. Y is the lowest pressure, okay, for the A. Okay, now, the water that will push in. How to push in? Because surrounded above the water, we got what? Atmospheric pressure. Now the atmospheric pressure will push the water, then lift up. Okay, just now we mentioned X is the highest pressure. So when it's just highest pressure, that means the water, when they push in, just a little bit. Because your pressure inside the tube is higher. So the water, atmospheric pressure, not enough strong. Maybe just push a little bit, then up. Okay, how about the Z? Z sure uh, higher a bit from the B, P, la, because Z is lowest pressure from the X. So maybe the water level up uh, more than the P. Okay, P, then the last one should be the Q. Q is the lowest, lowest pressure. So atmospheric press, uh, pressure, easy to push the water, then lift to the highest. So from here, later we can make a conclusion. The highest level sure is a Q. Okay, the second one should be the R. The lowest one should be the P. Okay, now this one is what I go to explain for you. Then we go to answer. Okay, which point show the A move in high velocity? Okay, the A in high velocity sure is a point Y. Okay, now we can check. Okay, the point Y should be the high velocity. Which point they show the A move is low uh, pressure? Sure also is a point Y. Okay, high speed, low pressure. Now we need to mark the water level. Okay, now water level, the highest sure is a Y because you are low pressure. Okay, followed by the R and the last one should be the P. Okay, we're going to check. P is the lowest. Okay, R higher a bit. Then the Q should be the highest. Okay, because lower pressure, atmospheric push, then the water can go up higher. Okay, eh? so this one is what I want to perform. Okay, so from here, I'm going to see the student, you understand or not? Okay, any question you want to ask me, you can type from here. Okay. Uh, I didn't see anybody type here. Okay. So you stop me yeah, if you don't understand because I don't know, I cannot see or my line is no good. So you can type here and tell me that means you're okay or not. So I just continue. Okay. So this one, we continue just now the question. Yeah. Okay, just now the question uh, for the water level. Now number four, they ask you, why does water ride on a vertical tube Q? Okay, why they go through to the highest at the Q? So we need to answer. Okay, the answer is, okay, let's see here what's the answer. Huh? Okay, A flow with highest velocity at the Y. Okay. Because of the narrow tube. Okay, highest velocity means the pressure is the lowest. Okay, region Y show the lowest pressure. Okay, after measure lowest pressure, now you must say about the atmospheric pressure and the pressure in the tube Y. Okay, we do the comparison. Sure, atmospheric pressure now is the highest. Okay, atmospheric pressure now is greater than push the water into the cube, uh, the tube Q due to low pressure. Okay, number three, you must talking about the two pressure. La. One is outside, one is inside. So outside now is bigger. Sure, they're going to push the water up. Okay, finally, you find it there's a highest one. La. Okay, so we're talking so much. So today, I want to introduce should be the Bernoulli principle. Okay. Uh, my five size two student, you got any comment you want to tell me? 
Uh, okay. I go to lift up something first. Okay. Anything you want to share here? Okay. Nobody type here. Because I cannot see any live chat here. Yiru can okay or not? Okay, so if nobody to answer me, then I just continue lah. Because from here, I cannot see any any person, any student give me the feedback. Okay, uh, okay, you will give me okay already. City also, eh? so I continue like, like this. Uh, okay, so from here, I continue for this part Bernoulli principle. So, this has a definition. Okay, definition for Bernoulli principle remember spelling. Okay, double L, then I, apostrophe S. Okay, Bernoulli state that when the velocity of a fluid okay, increases, the pressure in the fluid will be decreases or you can say verse versa okay so from here you can find it when it just flow okay the narrow tube the narrow tube the show will flow in high speed okay you can see when starting the slowly okay until the end they go to v2 v2 become narrow already is it it become very fast okay so that means this one is very fast means they create low pressure okay so we continue Okay, leaf force. Okay, we're talking about the leaf force. Okay, this one we call it thrust. Okay, about the force lah. The force produced by the jet engine. Then after that, we got drag. Drag is about the air resistance that oppose the movement. Then after that, we got weight lah. Everybody know the weight is a gravitational force on the aeroplane. Okay, then after that, we got leaf force. Okay, now we need to relate it the aerofoil shape okay the aerofoil shape uh, wings of the aeroplane okay this one is related with the Bernoulli principle and also finally got lifting force okay later we see what is that okay now we're going to see another activity there's a filter funnel with the ping pong ball okay so from here the first one instruction they say place a ping pong ball in the inverted filter a filter funnel after that you hold the filter funnel and blow harder so that means you hold after that you blow very hard blow and not suck it's blow you blow very hard through the silicon tube okay connected to the filter funnel then after that what happened okay so another discussion now they're using the water also same they let the water flow very fast then the ping pong ball put in the filter funnel also what happened so the situation is the same. One is a A, another one is a water. Okay, same situation. Let it to fall faster. Okay, now we see what happened. Now identify the region where the A flow with high velocity. Okay, which one flow in high velocity? So from here you can see the part. Okay, uh, this part is a bigger part. We need to find it's a narrow part. Narrow part sure is a high velocity. So these two parts sure is a narrow part. Okay, we go to label. Okay, these two part is a narrow part. So we label by R. This one is a high velocity of the uh, water flow. Okay, what happened to the ping pong ball? Okay, now you think about that. Now it's high velocity here. So that means these two part create low pressure. Okay, bottom is what pressure? Bottom is atmospheric. Okay, now above is a low pressure. Below is a high pressure. So automatic, okay? Automatic, they produce a force, is it? The force go away. The force must go from high to low. So they will push the ping pong ball in. They never fall down, okay? Although the water keep flow down, is it? But the ping pong ball will keep in the filter funnel, okay? Now you can see the explanation. Water flow high velocity at the region R can create low pressure. So, high atmospheric pressure acting from the bottom. Okay, so this one is what will happen for the ping pong ball. 
the ping pong ball sure is never come down because you got atmospheric pressure to push it up. So from here, different of the pressure create a force acting upwards. Okay, because of different of the pressure. So finally, what happened? High atmospheric pressure push up. So that means the water is the the ping pong ball is never fall down. Okay, so the region of the air speed uh, at the low pressure, at the middle one, they become high pressure. So from here, leaf force is produced. Okay, from the different of the pressure causes by the flow of the air at the different velocity. So from here, the air flowing at high velocity above a ping pong ball. This one is a high velocity. Below is low velocity. So from here, high upper part produce low pressure finally the difference of the pressure above and also below the ball produce resultant force upwards okay so resultant force is lift the for lift force so finally they will lift up the ping pong ball okay so this is one of the explanation how to get four marks okay lift for produced by the different pressure you must talking about upper part is high velocity create low pressure then after that the low pressure, lower part is what? Lower part is a high pressure of the atmospheric pressure. Different of the pressure produce resultant force. Finally, the resultant force acting up. So that means the ping pong ball never fall down. So this one, actually, I want to relate that with the, just now the aeroplane, the, the shape for the wings. There's an aerofoil shape. Finally, the plane can be lift up. Why? Because they create the shape almost like high velocity at the top bottom low velocity okay we go through to see the the shape for the plane uh, wings okay so this one's a shape you can see the shape of the wings okay suppose like this one okay so that means you can see the a they start to flow okay when you see at the top the shape become curved a bit is it the a will move very fast one at the top one Okay, because the A is straightforward, go together. Now you'll find it the distance at the top is further, is it? When the distance further, okay, now at the end, I want you all five seconds to reach here. So which one need to run faster? Must at the top, you run faster, is it? Because your distance is, long, uh, is longer. So bottom one is okay because you flat only. Flat only, that means you can move by normal speed. Lah. Okay, so from here, you can see the speed speed of the uh, the wind is come together one so that means if i want five seconds or reach here at the top the speed of the uh, the wind must be go fast okay so finally both also can be uh, reached here at five seconds okay so from here we create at the top is a high speed of the a so at the top is a low pressure okay you can see of one of the aerofoil kit Okay, the shape of the plane. You see the shape of the plane, there's an aerofoil. Okay, now you see what happened. When I just start the kit, they blow the uh, blow the uh, wind. Eh? Okay, we start already. Uh, you can see the lift up. Okay, you can see a lift up. When I just off, uh, they go down already. Okay, so I show again eh, for this video. Okay, start again. We are going to change. Okay, play first. Okay, now I'm going to start. Okay, so you can see the plane and lift up. Because at the top, the speed is high. Okay, create low pressure. Then bottom, we got high pressure, then push the plane up. So you can see the shape. The shape, you can see the wing. That's an aerofoil shape. Okay, now we go to deeper to explain about aerofoil. Related with Bernoulli principle. Okay, this one is a production of the leaf force by using the aerofoil shape of the wings. Okay, so you can see at the top curve. Okay, then at the bottom is a flat. Lah. So you can see the blue color line. Okay, blue color line is go together one. Okay, you cannot wait. The wind just come, you cannot wait. Is it? They must go together. So that means at the top, the wind must go very fast because the curve. Okay, because the long distance, they go very fast. So the bottom one, okay, normal, when they just go. So when they're up, they go very fast, means low pressure. 
low pressure that means create different of the pressure okay high at the bottom low at the top so finally they do what force lifting force okay so we go to explanation for this part okay first one the aerofoil shape uh. this one shape we call aerofoil shape uh. aerofoil shape is of the wings of an aeroplane that causes the a flow at the different speed at the top and also the bottom section okay then after that we must according to bernoulli principle so bernoulli principle what they're talking about okay top section higher air velocity create low pressure okay bottom section lower a velocity create high pressure so that means now we got different of the pressure so different in the pressure produce what lifting force finally they can add the uh, plane to lift up okay so this one is an explanation okay you must say about the shape first number two you're talking about the a how to flow then according for bernoulli principle you're talking about the pressure then the last one sure you mentioned different of pressure produce the force okay so this is the anchor attack on the aerofoil okay when they got the anchor the sliding anchor so from here we need to go through this part they got one of the drag okay total lift force acting on the plane is also affected by the anchor for attack okay how many force you want to lift up the anchor attack also will be affected Okay, because they got airflow, you need to overcome the airflow. Okay, now when the aerofoil is at a certain anchor attack, the aerofoil exert a force on the airflow. Okay, they got one of the force on the airflow. Because the air just come, they got one of the drag. Okay, drag means the opposite direction. You need to overcome the drag. Okay, then we continue. The Newton third law of the motion, a reaction force will act on the wing of the aeroplane and also contribute the lift force. Okay, if got force to come, then follow the Newton third law. Third law means what? Uh, the force, same magnitude, but in opposite direction. That will create another forces. So now the A flow just come, they produce one of the forces. Then they must feed back another forces. So from here, you find it the react force will act on the wings. React force. That means the force, another one will feed back to the wings. Okay, when it just feed back to the wing, that means you got extra forces already. Okay, just now it's Bernoulli, is it? Now you got extra another force because there's a feedback force. After that, they will contribute for the plane to lift up again. So from here, we can say about the anchor of the attack that can help the plane to lift up faster okay so that means you find the plane when i just uh, want to lift up that means they move very fast after that they bend a bit then after that up is it so they cannot straight forward flat after that lift up is it they must bend a bit then go to uh, some anchor after that they lift up so this one we call anchor of attack okay so from here you can see this one situation low anchor attack okay so the A flow is very, very slow. Okay. So now the A is very, very high already. Okay. When it just got attacked. So you find it. Then you see all the car when it just up already, they fall down already. Because the A is too high already. Okay. So from here, after finish, explain the aerofoil. Uh, we need to go through is uh, one of the uh, practice in the lab. We're using the Bernoulli principle. There is a Bunsen burner. Okay, this one question they always will ask. Give one example for Bernoulli principle in the school uh, lab. Okay, so you must remember there's a Bernoulli principle. Uh, there's a, a Bunsen burner. Okay, let's see the Bunsen burner. You need to mark with the X the region where the gas to flow with the high speed. Okay, this one is a gas supply. Okay, can you see suddenly at the top become narrow? Okay, why they never go through the big size? They make it become narrow. Narrow understood high speed. Now the gas supply is high speed. So high speed means this part create low pressure. When it just open the hole, then you find it the the atmospheric pressure. Example the oxygen, they easy to go in. 
Okay, when the easy just go in, that means understood. Okay, now we can create the uh, combustion. Because you combustion, you need to oxygen, is it? So how to force the oxygen go in? The inside must create low pressure. Then automatic the oxygen can be go in, is it? How to become low pressure? So you need to design lah. Design the, the, the cross-section area of the a tube become narrow. Okay, when it just become narrow, that means high speed. Okay, so from here we mark with the X which part is a high speed. So this one is a high speed. Okay, the narrow part tube. Okay, now what happened at the jet when the Bunsen burner is connected to the gas supply? Okay, so from here we're going to explain. High speed gas, okay, move out through the jet, okay, the narrow jet, uh, to produce a low pressure region. So that means understood, high atmospheric pressure from outside, they will push the A into the hole, okay? So when they just push into the hole, that means inside the oxygen already go in the hole, that means now they can do the combustion. So that means when you just open the hole, you find out the color of the fire. There's a blue one. There's a blue flame. Okay, when it just close ready, you find out the Bunsen burner. There's an orange color of the flame. Okay, so this one's a difference. So from here, this one's a one of the application using the Bernoulli principle. Okay, so you can see here. Lah. Okay, when I just open yellow flame. Okay, when it just, uh, sorry, close, there's a yellow frame. When it just open, they got blue flame. Okay, explain how the blue frame can be produced. Okay, we go to explain. Okay, A must mix with the gas, okay, to produce a complete combustion. Then the blue flame will be produced. Okay, how to make it, uh, the A can be mixed together with the gas. So important is open the hole uh, open the hole and let the atmospheric pressure go in so they can mix together. Okay, then now we got uh, another example for the raising car. Okay, raising car, aerofoil shape of the spoiler, they produce a force downwards. Okay, now you can see the aerofoil shape, the balik. Okay, just now I show you the aerofoil for the plane is Upper is curve, is it? But now for the raising car, upper now, the curve one, they put at the top, uh, at the bottom. Okay, why they want to create like this? Huh? Okay, important, the raising car, they don't want to lift up. They lift up for what? Because they want to move on the road, is it? So the plane is a different plane, they want to lift up. Now the car, they want to stable. Okay, stable on the road, do not lift up. So that means they need to reverse, reverse the shape of the, uh, the aerofoil. Okay, now you can see the aerofoil shape spoiler, they go downward force. They want to produce the force go downwards. Okay, make the raising car become more stable. So that's why you can see the shape. So now the A flow very fast at the bottom. Okay, very fast at the bottom means bottom create low pressure. So upper part become high pressure, then they push the uh, aerofoil go downwards. So that means they push, now the raising car is go downwards. Okay, this one is a, another application for Bernoulli, but they're using aerofoil also, but the aerofoil, they need to reverse to produce the lower force. Okay, so let's see the explanation for the spoiler. Okay, first one, A move high speed below the spoiler. Okay, now bottom part low pressure. Okay, so above one sure is a high pressure. Lah. So different of the pressure, resultant force produced. Acting to where? Acting to downwards. So they want to avoid the car from lift when move very high speed. Okay, they want it to stable. Okay, pull down the center of gravity, go downwards. So this one is another application for the spoiler for raising car. Okay, uh, hello, uh, Hidayawati. Okay, then we continue to the next one. Okay, this one is a 2.15. There's a curved path of the football. 
So you can see uh, normally uh, when they just want to kick the ball, uh, you can find the ball can be spin. Uh, they spin after that curve, then go in. Just like the bowling. Uh, bowling, when they just do the bowling ball, um, we do no one, it's okay. Lah. We just threw after they go straight one. Okay, if they know the expert how to play the bowling, I mean, when they just shoot, you find it a curve. Okay, they turn a curve, then go in after they hit the pin of the bowling. Okay, that one is a, a technique. Okay, we see this one ball. Okay, when I just spin, you can see the spin like this. Spin the clockwise. Okay, now the A flow like this. Okay, go to the left hand side. So you can see at the top first. At the top, the arrow of the wind and the spin of the ball is opposite. Is it? Okay, the spin of the ball will go to right. The wind want to go to left. So you find it, this part is the opposite. Okay, opposite show move very slow lah because you opposite direction you need to overcome. So that means the speed of the velocity, uh, speed of the A become low. Okay, how about the bottom? The bottom you can see when they just turn clockwise, they go to the left. Okay, the wind also go to left. So both also go to left. So that means they will create high speed. Okay, high speed of the A. You can make the A now become high speed because the spinning, they will affect the A molecule. So from here, here we become high speed. High speed means low pressure. Okay, low pressure up with a high pressure. So they will push. Okay, press the ball and go downwards. Okay, so this one is how you go to kick the ball. After that, you can spin. Finally, they will go in. Okay, now we can show the explanation first. Okay, a bottom side of the ball has a high velocity of the A. Why? Because the both A stream combine as the flow of the A stream. Okay? A stream combine with the flow A stream. Okay? First one is the ball turning. Then we got surrounding, we got A flow also in the same direction of the speed. Okay, how about the top? The top one has low velocity. Why? As both a stream combined with opposite direction. Okay, we got two a stream, one from the ball, one from the wind. Now both in opposite direction. So that's why they make it the velocity become low. Okay, according to Bernoulli principle again, the region with high velocity they produce low pressure. So that means the bottom now is the lowest pressure. Okay. Therefore, different of the pressure, what they create, resultant force. So the resultant force now go to where? Go to downwards. So from here, this make a ball that changing the path in the curved path. Okay? They go sliding, go downwards. Okay? So depends the situation. The ping pong ball, the tennis, uh, table tennis also like this. When they just match, okay? They find the ball, you curve, then go downwards. Okay, so this is an explanation also by using the Bernoulli principle. Okay, different of the uh, position you go to smash or you want to go to spike. It's a different things. Okay, then we show. Okay, this is a one of the video. <clears throat> when I just want to kick the ball, go in the goal. Lah. Okay, let's see that. Okay. Okay, when I start kick. Okay. Can find they just uh, go curve a bit. Okay, I'm gonna show again. Huh? So you can see, uh, sorry. Okay, I show again for this video. They start to kick the curve. Okay, can you find the ball that curve? Because the player they start from the uh, they start from the left hand side, start from here, they kick and the ball curve after the in the goal. Okay, so another diagram. <clears throat> you can see this one. This one at kick at the corner. Okay, finally the ball can be curved one, can be turned one. Okay, you can see here. And they start to kick. Ah, can you see the ball? Ah, slow motion. They kick. Ah, then the ball is turned. Turned to the left hand side. Okay, so that means this one's a technique how you go to kick the ball. Okay, so I replay again. So they just kick. Ah, the ball can be turned. Okay, slow motion, kick, then the ball, curve. Okay, so this one is related with the spinning of the ball. Okay, then we go through the next one. 
Okay, the next one is an important thing. Uh, okay, Kuma asked, is it called an inverted aerofoil? Yeah, just now the spoiler is an inverted aerofoil. Okay, the balik, the aerofoil, the balik. Okay, now we go to the activity 2.16. Okay, so then you finish the first project already, is it? For the um, er, the, er, the Pascal principle. Now what you need to do is the second one. Okay, this one from the textbook. Eh? Okay, you need to design a paper aeroplane. Okay, based on the application for Bernoulli principle or you saying the Newton third law of motions. Okay, now you need to gather. Um, now you cannot do in a group, so better you do by individual because they just only paper aeroplane. Okay, gather the information on the paper aeroplane from the reading material or website. You need to create, mention about the material you need to require. Okay, design a paper aeroplane that can be fly far for long time. Okay, far for long time. So important, we never using any electricity. Yeah? You just create a paper plane. Okay, you want to put the wings, uh, it's up to you. But I important is paper, the light object. Lah. Don't put something, it's heavy, heavy, cannot lift out really. Okay, the way to launch the paper of aeroplane, how you go to launch. You want to lift up or you want to spin, uh, depend for yours. Then direction of the wind during launching. So from here, uh, use the KWL again. Uh, you go to scan the KWL form. You fill in. Oh, sorry. Okay, sketch a diagram showing the design of the paper aeroplane. Build a paper aeroplane according to suggest that a design. Now you need to launch the paper plane and also observe the flight. Okay, so this is how to launch. Aeroplane is very easy. You go to create yourself. Okay, after that, when you go to launch, you take the video and show me how far, okay, how far they can go. Then you need to measure, okay, uh, how, where you start, then where the uh, aeroplane, they're landing. Then I want to know uh, the, around the distance is how many, la, that means you can show me, okay, by using the video clip. Okay, identify the aspect or design and the method of launching that require improvement. So that means after that, the first round, maybe you find it or oh, the distance very short. So you need to modify. So you need to mention what's the problem. Then you need to modify your paper plane. After that, they can go further. Okay. So here you can scan. You got two barcode here. Guide, guideline for the student to design the aeroplane. You can see how to design. Because so many, you can go through the YouTube. You just say paper plane. They got design for you. How to create the paper plane. After that, they can lift up and go to further one okay so this one is how you go to uh, go to find out uh, the the pattern uh, how you want to create the paper plate so this one is a one of the another pbr for this year uh, the one year we do twice only okay now this is the second one for the paper plate okay powerpoint again after that uh, how to create every step you take video okay finally i want you go to launch Launch your paper plane and in your, outside your house only, like you go to uh, through the aeroplane, then you step for me the video how far. Then, if you uh, find the distance is not enough, okay, so you need to modify. Okay, modify, then you need to show me the second time. Okay, so normally we need to show the second time like, because we need to modify, you see, better or not. Okay, so this one is uh, one thing I want to explain for you what you need to do for the second project. Okay, so the next one should be finished lah. Our lesson for today, there's a Bernoulli principle. So today the task is 2.6. Okay, you finish all the formative practice. That's a 2.6. Before that, we got 2.5, then 2.6, you need to finish it. So later, I will uh, upload the answer lah. Okay, I will upload the answer in the YouTube also after to do the discussion. Okay, the student, are you okay about this one? Okay, so from here, we finish already. Okay. So our lesson just until here lah, because you need to go another lesson already. Okay. So every student, are you okay about this one? So anybody can respond for me? Hello. Okay, so we just uh, finish until this part. So every student, I just can say thank you lah. Thank you for your watching. 
okay and hopefully you finish the okay i forget to tell you the project project is after school after the school reopen that mean uh you can pass up okay or this during the holiday that means you can start to do already you just finish then you pass up to me okay when the school just reopen that means every student hopefully you already pass up lah. okay so this one is what i want to mention for you okay thank you Ling Han, eh? okay bye every student just until this part okay just thank you bye okay everybody bye okay thank you Yiru. okay thank you charon okay bye Okay, Esther, bye. Eh? Okay, I just go to close my screen first. Eh? Okay, bye. Then three. Okay, Lina, bye. Okay, one more thing, the Google form. Eh? The Google form I shared in the Telegram already. Please go to key in your Google form for today attendance. Okay, so bye, everybody. Go to curate Google form.